capturing the passion of a city. A new exhibit at the New Haven Museum recordings, it records the stories of why and where locals get tattoos. This morning, we are joined by guest curator Eleanor Slamba and photojournalist Corey Hudson to learn more about old school ink, New Haven's tattoos. I have to say, I was reading about this to prepare for this interview. I've never heard of quite an exhibit. It's really unique. It's very cool. Tell me about it, Eleanor. Well, we were uh, asked to compile some historical research along with contemporary images, uh, getting at the roots and the context of tattooing in New Haven. And it's really something that can be applied to any community, and other communities have uh, done this type of exhibit, but of course ours is unique. Looking at tattoos as historic pieces and artistic pieces, very interesting. Well, tattoo artists certainly have um, been pulling from a very old tradition yeah. and also continuing to reinvent and add their own uh, style and aesthetic, and that's very evident in the work. There's some original drawings that people created from New Haven's history right. that um, I even got one of those tattoos. There was a tattoo of John Stefano that I read about, correct? Yes. Corey, you must have met all kinds of interesting people while photographing uh, for this exhibit. I did, absolutely. I met uh, all different kinds of people, as you said, and I found that they all had one thing in common, and that was that they were sort of exploring what, what it meant to be a human being and what their life meant and the different experiences that they had. So a lot of times their tattoos are symbols yeah. of some sort of meaning or... Um, event or yeah, honoring someone, all exactly. of that. Exactly. Yeah. What did you learn? Where did you travel to? Was it just around the state? Yeah. Around the city? It was yeah. uh, around the city. Uh, I learned that... I learned that people have uh, a lot of different reasons why they get tattoos. Some are funny, some are events, as you mentioned, but that, that meaning changes over time. And it didn't really seem to matter what I asked people about their tattoos. It always came back to some really uh, deep meaning about who they were as a person. That's neat. Yeah. Uh, the exhibit is open now, correct? Tell me when it runs until? It opened on September 23rd for Smithsonian Day Live, which is a, a national uh, way for museums to reach out to new audiences, and it will be up through March 10th of 2018. So what are you hearing? What's the response you've gotten so far from people? Uh, well, the artists who were involved, participating, uh, do feel respected, so that was probably the most important thing yeah. to me, um, that we provide some insight into their perspective, and um, people are... Um, I think that they're excited yeah. that, that their work is, is being displayed and that they're being honored, especially in a museum. This is sort of a, a newer culture to be honored in this way, uh, so it's exciting. And there's some, some interesting visual rhymes and repetitions from the old and the new that I think people are uh, fascinated to see. And there's also a family tree where people who um, have particular members of the tattoo community that want to be represented can add their names to the family tree so that's happening it's ongoing okay I want to go check it out tell people if they want to if they're listening to this and want to check it out too what website they can go to for more information uh, newhavenmuseum.org and it's at 114 Whitney Avenue in New Haven it sounds great thank you so much for joining us and of course uh, the information will also be on our website thank thanks for coming in us. on a Saturday morning now, uh, like we said, go to the uh, WTNH.com and pull down the Good Morning Connecticut weekend section.